Welcome to World History with Mrs. H.T. The title of our lesson today is Europe Explores Asia, or It Tries To. I can describe why Europeans were pursuing new trade routes to Asia. For this assignment, as you watch this video, complete the handout describing how each European traded. After the video is over, complete the map and color where each group of Europeans primarily traded. Fold booklet and paste it into this page of your notebook. So you need this handout. As I continue through the video, you are going to fill in each box in that handout where it says Dutch, English, French, and Portuguese. You're going to describe each of those European groups and how they traded in Asia. The Portuguese. Now you should be following along and we will complete our graphic organizer starting with the section on the Portuguese. Europeans were fascinated with Asian products like silk and jade and porcelain. Trade posts were set up in India and Southeast Asia in the 1500s, but trading with China and Japan was not easy. The Portuguese set up a post in Macau, China, but it was China's way or the highway. Trade was strictly controlled and not formally recognized by the Chinese government. During the Ming Dynasty, the Chinese were at the height of their power. They didn't trade much. When they did, they requested silver for their goods. Europeans preferred to trade with manufactured goods. Europeans preferred to give something in return for something, but not necessarily money. What the two countries did exchange was a lot of cultural ideas. Christian missionaries from Portugal brought the Chinese people things like reading glasses. The Chinese taught the Portuguese the ideas of Confucius and impressed them with their architecture and wide availability of books. The Dutch, the Dutch seized part of the island of Taiwan in the 1630s and 1640s, but the Chinese drove them out during the Qing Dynasty in 1661. Though the Though the Dutch did some trading with China after that, it was limited and selective depending on the current leadership. About a century after the Chinese pushed out the Dutch, the king set up a trading post on a small island but limited trade to October through March. The British followed China's stipulations but ended up importing way more than they exported and got into debt. The Chinese rejected a British request for better trade policies, resulting in a worse trade conflict years later. The Dutch also tried to change to trade with Japan, but trade was also limited with Japan. The Portuguese landed there in the 1540s by chance on accident after being blown off course, and then problems arose between the Portuguese and the Japanese over religion and European missionaries. When trade with Japan didn't work out for the Dutch, they became trading partners with the Japanese. Under strict surveillance, Japan allowed the Dutch to establish a trading post on an island called Dashima, close to Nagasaki. The Dutch remained the only major trading power in Japan until the 1800s. At this time, you need to open up your map of Southeast Asia, and you can use this map that's on the screen to highlight places where the Dutch would trade, or the English would trade, or the French would trade, Portuguese would trade, and the Spanish would trade. This map can be found on your handout. You should only start the map if you're done with the table. Once you've completed both the table and the map, you've completed this lesson. Make sure that that handout is folded in half and pasted onto this page of your notebook. 